Hello there, it's Andrew Palmer from layoutscloud.com. Just going to do an overview video of how to use layoutscloud.com with the Divi Cloud plugin, how to use the section designer, and also what's new in the Layouts Cloud itself. So let's go. So you've set up your WordPress website. I've got my own test one here, and I've already installed the plugin. You do that by going to Add New, locating the plugin download where you've downloaded it from Layouts Cloud, and just installing it. And it's also auto updating now. So let's just update the plugin now. And that shows that it's been updated. And we've got the latest version, which is 1.9.5 currently. So we can go to the Divi Cloud by accessing it on our WordPress dashboard, or we can access it from the menu. So let's go in here and let's have a look at Divi Cloud settings. And you can see that you add your API key here, and you can get that from your layoutscloud.com account. And it will also tell you which version you've got, so which membership level from agency, freelancer, and the free version is the plugin only. The plugin does actually cost $15, but it gives you access to a couple of hundred layouts that you can still import into your website, but you can't save to the cloud. Now, we've also got a default view, and you can view all layouts or just your cloud. This is for your development environment, and you can also white label it very simply as well. Now, going further in, you can have a look at Divi Cloud on the sidebar, and you can see that we've got layouts, sections, modules, and snippets. Now, the snippets is very, very useful, and I use this to save my codes and also CSS for anything that I need. So when I see something in the Facebook group, Divi Theme Users, or I pick up a CSS snippet, I'll add it to my Artwork Archive site and make sure that I've got a snippet in there. Now you can see modules as well. Now to add a module, you can just say add to library, and then you go to your library and add it to your page. Sections much the same. And this has changed quite substantially because we've now got the new layout section designer. And I would certainly recommend that you look at that. In the meantime, of course, I'll show you how to add a layout to a page. You go to Pages, Add New. And in this instance, we're going to add a la carte, which is a layout that you can use for two reasons. One, to see what we have loaded up in a particular month like june for instance and one to another reason rather to show your customers exactly what you're capable of and this is how layouts cloud basically helps you so let's just go through that again i can clear that layout i go to load layout go to divi cloud find the layout that i want to load onto the page I can preview it if I want to. I can favorite it as well. So that's always going to be in my favorites. I can apply it and I can publish it. Now, when I go and look at it, I see this little template here. Now this is where the CSS resides to allow the page to do this. So all I have to do is I go in there, I select all, Rather, I select it all, I copy it, I enable the Visual Builder, I toggle to the Tools, and I go to Advanced, I add my custom CSS, and I hit Control v And that's all the CSS that helps the page do this type of thing. So I can now delete that section and I'm left with whatever it is here. So I then save, and that's that page saved. Now, you can see all these kind of things up here, and you can say, okay, well, I want to edit this, and I want to tell people um, what I can do with this. You can take away all of this text, add your own text, and say, this is the type of things that we can do for you. We can load them up, add your content, and voila, you have a website. And you click this question mark, it will give you this text and you can change that text or you can just delete that question mark. It's completely up to you. Now, one of the exciting things about Divi is that they're continually updating. So in about a, less than a year, I think this 
I mean, a total of about 130 updates. Now, for developers, that's pretty hard to keep up with, and especially as we're developing the Layouts Cloud, that's pretty hard to keep up with as well. But if you look in the page and go, go to Edit Page, I'll show you a very useful thing that Layouts Cloud can do for you if you have freelancer or agency. So you can save to the library, but what you can also do is you can load a layout, say, from Divi themselves. So they've got their own layout manager. And we've got the pre-made pre layouts here. And say you want a restaurant, you can say, okay, well, I want this, this restaurant pack. And I can say, use this layout. Now that will load uh, pretty quickly. Now, once that's loaded, you can update the page because that's the way I'm doing it. And you can view the page, enable the visual builder. Layouts Cloud, by the way, is totally visual builder friendly because we're dealing with layouts here. No plugins at all, apart from Divi Cloud. That's it, enable the visual builder. And I can make any changes I like to this. I can then save it. And if I go to edit page, save to library, Call it second restaurant, save to the Divi Cloud. That's all saved. I can add a new page. Now imagine you're in a new instance of WordPress and you want to load up that restaurant page that you saved because you thought that was a good thing to do. You can go into the Divi Cloud, go into View My Cloud, and there it is, the second restaurant. So you can apply that, give it a name, publish it, view the page, enable the visual builder and amend to your heart's content. Just another advantage of the Divi Cloud. So if you're a plugin user and you go to your Divi Cloud in your setup, you'll see a lot of sections and layouts that have uh, access restricted to them. It's a very simple way to get access to these layouts that are restricted to you and you simply hit the upgrade button and that will take you through to a section which will allow you to upgrade to freelancer or agency and so we make it very, as clear as we possibly can whether it's freelancer or agency and you can upgrade uh, the same goes for sections but you do have snippets available to you as well so let's go back and upgrade my account and show you what's possible with the divi cloud both on your desktop and as a layout section designer. So we're back in my test domain and just a quick overview of how to add a page using the Divi Cloud. So pages, add new, give your page a name, use the Divi Builder, load a layout, go to Divi Cloud, and you see a selection of layouts. Now, the latest layouts will always appear at the top. You can favorite some as well, and that will show you a red heart on there. So you can say, I only want to see my favorites and just search. And this is very useful if you have been doing some research for a customer and you know that uh, in your favorites there's a particular layout so you uncheck favorites and then do another search and that will get you back to the main page and all the searches are paginated as well but you can also look under sets so i want to have a look at say let's have a look at coffee shop and there is i've got a complete set there as well there's various categories and you can choose sources as well when you clear it, you can say cloud layouts and community layouts. Now, this is something that we want to promote even more, that as a community member of freelancer and agency, you can share your own layouts that you want to uh, be put out there in the community for free. So say you've designed something, you're pretty proud of it, save it as a community layout in your cloud and we'll approve it or not and then that will be available for community as well. So that's it. So I want to now basically have a page in there. So let's build a home page of that coffee shop. So here it is, I've got the home page. I can preview it. And this gives a pretty good rendition of what I'm looking at. And I can think, okay, I like that one. And I can close that down or I can simply apply that layout. And that layout has now been loaded and I can 
publish that and I can go and view that page enable the visual builder and edit to my heart's content so that's an overview of how to add a page via the Divi cloud and let's just go in there and confirm how we save it to our cloud as well if you're a freelancer or agency member so I particularly like this page I've changed it I want to save it to my library I can save that locally to my library or I can save to the cloud so it's AP test layout let's say coffee save that to my Divi cloud update that just to make sure that everything's all okay and then when I want to add a new page I simply go to add new page load a layout go into my Divi cloud view my cloud and the nice thing when a layout is saved is that it actually automatically generates a screen grab for you. So it's like a featured image of that. And I can preview it, apply it, I can add it to a category, I can add it to the community cloud, or I can delete. So I'm just going to delete that layout there because I don't need, don't basically need that one. And that's effectively how you add a page, save it to the Divi Cloud library and delete a page as well. So next, we're going to take a look at the layout section designer. Now, one of the things that we're particularly proud of is the layout section designer. So how do you access it? Well, you can access it directly through layoutscloud.com. And as soon as you log into your account, there's a link that you can follow because it's only available to freelancers who get a certain amount of sections and agency, of course, gets all of the sections. Or you can be in your development environment and go to Divi Cloud hit sections and you'll see a new banner up there that says try the new layout section designer exclusively from layouts cloud and just hit try now that'll open up a new window and present you with the layout section designer now of course once you've been presented with the layout section designer you can see that you've got lots of categories you can scroll down here we've even got some uh, pages from elegant themes as well that you can drag across and you just choose your categories the best way that you like and you literally drag it across drag a section across and you can build up a page layout that is just perfect for you now i'm just choosing a few sections here so i want a blog layout there uh, let's just add our team for instance scroll back up and I think the next and last section will be a contact form. I'm just going to put any old contact form in there. But once you have a look around, you'll see that there's plenty to choose from. And once you've done that, you can move things around. You can obviously take things away and you can again add stuff as well. So, you know, these, it's really quite easy to use. And you just basically add the sections that you want and drag them around to your heart's desire now agency get everything so you can see a click here agency freelancer are clearly marked as well so if i'm a freelancer uh, account holder i can't obviously save this layout so just be aware of where um these are these things are marked if they're not marked they're available to everybody so as i'm an agency account holder i can now scroll right down to the bottom i can give my layout a name I can complete building that layout. Now, wonderfully, that's exported to my cloud. So it's added six sections to your new layout. And you can now access your new layout from within the Divi Cloud plugin. So let's go back into my development environment. Let's have a look and say, add a new page. Use the Divi Builder. Load a layout. Divi Cloud. View my cloud. And there we are. We've got the test layout section in there. I can preview it. I can apply it. I can edit it and add it to a particular category or I can add it to the community cloud. Now, remember that we do moderate the community cloud. And if we feel that there's uh, too much in there for the free users, then obviously we will not approve that. But uh, if you've designed your own layouts, then that's absolutely fine. So I'll apply that layout, give it a title, publish it. And when I view that page, you can see that everything that I made into my section layout designer is there. 
Now, it's a very, very fast way to develop websites. And I'm sure you'll appreciate that the layout section designer will help you make websites very, very quickly. And that's it. So if we haven't persuaded you yet to buy uh, the Layouts Cloud Divi Cloud plugin, I don't know what else to say to you, uh, but you can upgrade at any time. So just invest $15, have a try of the Divi Cloud plugin, and then you can upgrade to freelancer or, or agency whenever you like. And thanks for listening, and I'll speak to you soon.